Hi everybody and a warm welcome back to Maple Leaf Customs in Switzerland. I'm Andrew and on the bench today is a 1 to 64 scale custom 41 Willys Coupe. It was designed by Larry Wood and debuted in the 2009 New Model series. From the back of the 2009 Hot Wheels card, it says born 1941, birthplace Toledo, Ohio, designer Willys Overland Motors, specialty. With custom rims, shaved front bumper, and a hood scoop, this retro hot rod was made to be a winner on the street and a menace on the drag strip. Did you know that the proper name for this is the Willys Americar? which was a line of automobiles produced by Willys Overland Motors from 1937 to 1942, either as a sedan, coupe, station wagon, or pickup truck. This is the coupe version, of course, a very popular hot rod choice. Actually, only the 1941 to 1942 models were called America, following the patriotic trend of the time. It sold 22,000 units in 1941 and 7,000 more in 1942. Its price was US $630. As World War II broke out, civilian production was abandoned by all US motor companies in order to assist the military, and the Americar was no exception. However, Willys was one of the companies awarded a contract to produce the highly successful Jeep, a trademark that they later won the rights to own. But back to the Americar, critical four-cylinder engine failures, lack of replacement and repair parts, and the sheer absence of assistance from Willys turned many Americars into perfect targets for the emerging hot rod community. The Go Devil engine was replaced with many other alternatives, some weaker, some much stronger than the original specification. It became such a favorite that today, a 100% stock America is a very rare find. Well, I can see the end of 2023 on my calendar now, and here's the last lineup of cars that I've got on the hobby bench. They're going to be Saturday uploads and the regular last day of the month for Horseman builds. So thank you for another year of following my channel and your support. The very best thing you can do is give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and hit the notification bell, and... Just keep coming back to enjoy the content. I'd appreciate that so much. Thank you. The Willys has given me no struggle at all through the whole disassembly process. Here I'm dechroming the very realistic all chrome <laughs> interior with some oven cleaner. Only takes about five minutes to get it down to the original plastic. Of course, degreasing and cleaning all the fingerprints and stuff off is an essential step before the primer. On the top and on the inside as well. And it's ready to get customized. Today's community shout-out goes to Andy's Diecast Restorations, and this channel was recommended to me by one of my viewers. I've enjoyed checking it out, and I pass it on to you. Please follow the link in the description. See what Andy's doing in his corner of the hobby community. I shot a high-gloss white on top of the white primer, so there's not a big difference there. Then I carefully mask it up and mix up my black Vallejo acrylic paint. I like it because you can put it right out of the bottle into the airbrush. And that's obviously going to give me a very recognizable two-tone paint job. So I carefully unmask it while the paint is still tacky. Now you can see the basic markings of a 41 Willys Coupe cop car. Up 
I make all my own decals and print them on a Hewlett Packard laser jet printer on blue backed water slide decal paper. This is build number 271. I've got a protect and serve sheriff badge on the doors. And there's going to be some graffiti tags on here too. A big V8 marker on the back. And I carefully hand paint the highlights on. I use a Molotel pen refill and the finest paintbrush that I've got. I favor that over the Molotel pen which often explodes at the most inopportune time and gives me a lava gush of chrome everywhere that I don't want chrome to be. This is similar to the Molotel pen. It's a German brand adding. It's fine for underneath to highlight the exhaust lines and the mufflers. That'll get dirtied up and rusted, too. Hot Wheels didn't put a lot of creativity into their pop-up engine, so I nip that off with my side cutters to make room for a replacement. I've 3D printed a couple of things for this project, including some wheels with this dome hub on it. Fatties on the back and some skinnies on the front. I thought instead of chrome, I'll go with a red hubcap on this one. That should stand out nicely against the black and the white cop car body. Right, so I've added some more graffiti tags. There's a metal patch on the back passenger quarter panel. Some heavy mesh in the windows and what I hope look like homemade bars on the front where the glass has been removed and I'll paint them up to give it the post-apocalyptic look. I like to use a minimum of three colors of rust paints and I play them with a toothpick. There's lots of different techniques. I've done salt chipping before and used AK interactive chipping fluid or hairspray, but this is a little project and a couple of dots here and there with three colors gives it the depth that I want. And on the chassis, I did some black wash. I did some weathering powders as well to give it the full effect that I wanted. It all goes back together pretty basically and easily. A couple of turns of the screwdriver puts the 256 screws back in place. Not too tight, I don't want to restrict the motion of the wheels. As you can see, they're free. The two final touches is my 3D printed blower. You don't see the whole engine, just the hood scoop. Make sure that's centered and straight and level, and it is. The last thing I did was put on a 3D printed police searchlight on the side. Away it rolls. Let's have a closer look. It's post-apocalyptic. It's not heavily weaponized. This would be no match for the war rig out on the Fury Road, but there's still no lack of petty crimes going on, and this old, slightly modified cop car is still up to the job, even though it's been weathered. It's been beaten up. It still runs as good as any of them out there. So I'll leave it up to your imagination to create your own good guy, bad guy, wastelands scenario. This looks like the standard customization job that you might see on the street today. But I took it and broke it down and beat it up into this old cop car. You could even imagine it's a decommissioned police car, kind of like the Bluesmobile. Somebody left the markings on it and drives it around as a grocery getter. <laughs> I don't know. 
I just know I had a fun time working on it, and I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for visiting today. I invite you to leave your respectful comments below. I wish you a great week. It's coffee time.